Uh, cool. 1160. Find words that can be formed by characters. Uh, you're given an array of string words and a string chars. Uh, a string is good if it's formed by characters from chars. Each character can be used only once. We turn the sum of lengths of all good string in words. Okay. Uh, do they have to... Do they have to be in any particular order or anything? Uh, it seems okay, so yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I think this is straightforward. You just kind of count the characters and stuff like that. Right? Oops. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's really chilly in New York all of a sudden. But, uh, yeah. Who knew? How long did I take to not, sorry, I was doing typing, so I'm a little bit slow in answering questions. All right, I'm almost done, so let me just actually do another test case and then I'll answer your question. Hope I'm almost done anyway. Watch me jinx myself and have a lot of silliness. That happens sometimes. <laughs> but uh, at, the, at least the example input cases. Uh, okay, cool, uh, cool. Uh, yeah, let me go over this for a little bit and I'll answer your question, don't worry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I, mean, I think this is actually a pretty straightforward problem, hopefully, uh, in that, um, okay, so I, I, mean, I actually think I did a horrible job articulating my thoughts on this uh, problem because I just, you know, dug in there. But um, basically, you, you see a character, uh, the, thing, the first thing I noted was that uh, each character could be only used once, um, and uh, depending on input, you could probably actually uh, do something even more naive, maybe? Yeah, I mean, you could have done something that doesn't... Uh, uh, you could have done something with that... I mean, I did something with a hash table and counts and kind of keep it that way because the thing to know was that the characters could be in any order so it doesn't have to be in some kind of sequence or anything. So what that matters is that given a word, uh, the quote-unquote the normalized version of that word is just the character counts that goes... Of, of each of the uh, possible characters. Um, and then I kind of just compared the two of them basically from the input words and the characters, which is what, where we uh, what we built from. Um, and then just kind of followed the instructions on, you know, summing the number of good words, uh, links. Um, yeah, and I think actually given the constraints that uh, there's only a thousand words and each word is less than a hundred characters, you could have actually you didn't need the hash table, you could have just done some kind of like n square type things if you really want. But I mean, I don't know, I mean, it's such a standard uh, uh, optimization that I would not con really consider it generally because it's also easy to write, it doesn't take that much space and that's just some like crazy constraint. But if there was a crazy constraint, then then you can't do it this way anyway, right? Uh, you can't do it like n square ish or, or n times the number of uh, characters. Um, and also, in terms of interview questions, uh, definitely people will definitely ask you, can you do any better? So it's good to kind of jump to that. And I think this is a very basic use of uh, hash tables. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to review that here. But, but yeah, I, I think, um, yeah, I mean, the general idea is that because we don't need to care about the ordering, uh, we could just put things in the hash table, right? So. Uh, I mean, you could also have done other things like, 
I don't know, sort the characters in a string and then kind of do a two finger thing. But, but as I said, uh, if you have, uh, and that in theory may be more space efficient sometimes, maybe, depending on how you do it in place, maybe. But, uh, but in this case, it's all not necessary, so I'm just kind of rambling on. Uh, I think this is pretty straightforward. I think in general, when I, uh, I mean, I expect to see uh, uh, this problem on an interview, on, on an easier interview, uh, and maybe even this problem, but a more complicated version of this, uh, like, 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 uh, like maybe a two-parter, like, okay, the first part is called this part or this problem, and then there's like a second part that's a little bit more difficult that builds on this, uh, like maybe do something with the characters, I don't know. But uh, so definitely kind of study up, I, I would kind of, I would rate this as highly likely to show up on an interview, uh, and it's the right, uh, probably a little bit on the easier side even, but uh, so yeah, that's all I have to say about that.